Hello everyone, I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Dell laptop. This is a Dell G715 model 7588 and in this video I'm going to go on a step by step how you can remove or replace your battery for your laptop. You can use these laptops without the battery with no issue and the charger will last you longer and the motherboard will last you longer because there will be no extra charge coming to the motherboard over the circuit and the charger will have less uh, amperes going out. So people always ask me, can I use it without the battery plugged in? Sure you can, it's perfectly fine with it. Just remember when the power goes up, the laptop will shut down and you will have no, uh, it will just go suddenly. If you didn't save you up, you work. All right, I'll leave the link for the tools that I'll be using and for replacement battery linked in the video description in case you want to purchase yours. This is just a demonstration to show you how to get it to the battery, how to remove it. Just make sure you save your files, shut down the computer, and at the end of the video, I'll give you a tip how to keep your battery health on best state and performance possible. And you should be doing that once every couple of months to keep the health of the battery on its peak performance. All right, so first we're gonna get a screwdriver set. I'll be using an iFix screwdriver set, Phillips number one. We're gonna remove one screw at the back of the cover in here. This is the service cover. There's only one screw holding it. This screw has a, something called a C-lock. The C-lock will prevent the screw coming up entirely, but it does have a different purpose. The purpose of it is to push the cover away from the palm rest, so it creates a tiny gap in there. I'll keep rotating and make a few click, and that's it. This gap that it created in there, that's enough for me to put my fingernails, my finger in there, and pull this cover from the mid up. It will create this bend, and it will snap and you know, lose the hooks on the side. You're gonna hear click sounds, that's fine. That's what you wanna hear. All right, once you have those one, that one out, the battery is flipped upside down right in here. The text information on the battery is on the other side. Don't know why, but yeah. The connector for the battery is in there. Before we disconnect it, we're gonna remove one, two, three screws on the battery. And it makes it easier to disconnect it. So remove one screw right there, one screw right in here. And if you wanna ask where the CMOS battery is, the CMOS battery is right in here, has a little adhesive underneath. You can grab it and pull it out and disconnect it. That will reset the CMOS configuration, but not the password. All right, once we remove these three screws, we're gonna grab the battery and we're gonna slide it towards the fans so we can unhook these two hooks in here. And then we can bring it in this position. Now we have a better room to work in here. You wanna put your two fingers on the jack, on the first end of the jack, on the white one here, on the side, and you wanna pull it back evenly. So I'll pull it back evenly and the jack will come loose. So this, this hooks I'm talking about. I'm not talking about putting it all the way down there, which you can't even reach. This hooks in here, that's a tiny ear lobes on the side. You wanna put your fingers on this and then pull it back straight back. And there is the one, and the battery model is on 33YDH. Once you get the new battery, they will not come with this cable. This cable can be held really tight to the end and pull it up straight. So you will need to use this uh, cable. This cable only goes in one way. There's a little notch in here, so you can put it upside down. You only put it in, in one way, push it all the way in, make sure it goes evenly all the way in. And once you have the new battery in, before you put it down, you put it on the sideway like this, so you have a little room to wiggle with the cable. You wanna align the cable in front of the jack straight. Don't go sideways in, it's straight and then you wanna pinch it in there with two fingers straight in. And once you're done with that, bring the bottom of the battery in underneath the palm rest, put it down and tighten up the three screws right over. Now, to finish it off is to grab the bottom power, put the front end in 45 degree down inside the palm rest, push down, make sure you hear those click sounds, push the side, click click sounds, and on the back, do not press on the mid back. Just tighten up the screw and the screw will pull the cover to itself. You don't need to push on it. And then make sure there's no gaps, anything open. Now, regarding the new battery in here, once you put the new battery in, you do not want to power on the laptop right away. If you did power and unpower it off quickly, leave it charging for at least three to four hours with a powered off computer. After that, you want to unplug the charger, power on, bring the brightness down to 30, 40%, and put some, and not, don't put any heavy load, put some YouTube videos, whatever you wanna do, just put some 
low load on a CPU, let it drain the battery down to 20% or 30%. After that, you want to power off, leave the charger again for another three to four hours. And after that, you can use it as you wish. That initial charge and discharge, it is very crucial and important for the new batteries. And you should be doing that once every couple of months to keep the health of the battery on its peak performance. Again, I hope you guys like this video. If you want to support the channel, you can click the like and subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a the video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video.